I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on patterns. The question here is, eight teams are in quarterfinals of a football league. They should play each team once to decide about their standings. How many games will be played? That's what you have to figure out. So how many games will be played amongst eight teams when they play once against each, right? That's the question, right? So to answer such questions, we need to make a table, right? So we can make t-chart table to figure out how many games are being played with respect to number of teams. So we'll make two columns here. Input is uh, number of teams. So that sign is number for us, number of teams. And here we'll write number of games, right? Now, if we have just one team, if we have just one team, in that case, the number of games will be zero, right? So one team cannot play against anyone. So number of games will be zero. But if we have two teams, then they could play one game, right? So every team is playing once against each other. So we have a scenario that if there is one team, then it, it is just standing there, it can play. But if there are two teams, then they can definitely play one game, right? So, so that is one game between them. Now, what happens when the third team joins in? Now, if the third team joins in, let me show this third team right here. For example, this is a third team. In that case, this team can play with the first and the second team, right? So we have, in that way, every team plays with one another, just one game. And the number of games which are being played here is one, two, and three, right? So, so it is three. Now, when the fourth team comes, we already have three games being played between these three teams. Now, if there is a fourth team, that team plays one with each, right? So that means we are adding to these three, how many more? We are adding one, two, and three more. Do you see that? So it becomes three plus three as six, right? So we added three more and we got the number of games as six at this level. Do you see that part, right? Now, if the fifth team joins in, let's say this is the fifth team which joins in, then what happens? This fifth team will play against all those four teams, right? So it's going to play with this team, which is one, two, three, and four that means four additional games right so we can add four to the previous number which is six right to get the number of games for five teams right so for five teams six plus four gives us ten now similarly if another team joins which i'm saying is the sixth team in that case it has to play with these five teams right so five more games five more games. So for the sixth team, we'll have 15 games. And likewise, the pattern can go up to eight, right? So that is the sixth team, right? So one, two, then this three, four, and, uh, and one, five, right? So, so that is how it builds up. Now, do you see a pattern? Let's look into it. How do we get these numbers from inputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Every time we are adding one additional game, that means that the pattern is not linear, correct? It is not a linear pattern. Now, if you analyze for one no game, for two one game, for three three game, for four six games for five ten games how do i get five from or ten from five and how do i get six from uh, 15. now this is not very easy to to figure out but there is a rule which which links them the rule here is if i multiply
let's take from here. If I times 3 and 4, what do I get? So, so if I look into this place, uh, let's look into these two. If I multiply 3 and 4, we get 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And to get 6, we can divide by 2. Do you see that? So we get 6. Similarly, 5 times the number previous to it, 5 times 4 is 20. And when we divide this by 2, we get 10. Do you see that? That is 10. So we get the number. For 6, we can multiply 6 by 5, right? So that means 6 times 5 is 30. And then we divide by 2. We do get 15. Do you see that? So we get next number by doing this kind of uh, multiplication. That is to say, if I write 7 here, what sh should I get? I should get 7 times 6, which is 42, divided by 2, which is 21. So we should get 21 here. Now if I write 21 here, then we'll check the pattern. Is this pattern wor working? That is to say, if I add 7, so because we are adding uh, 3, 4, 5, now it is to add 6, right? One more, 6. If I add 6 to 15, do I get 21? Yes, I do. Do you see that? So it works. So if we follow this pattern, we can get for 8 also and for any number. So for 8, it should be 8 times 7, which is 56, and then divide this by 2, right? So we get... 2 goes 2 times, which is 16 and 8. So we get 28 here, correct? That should be 21 plus 7. So we get it like this also, correct? So it works. So we have a pattern rule in this case. Do you see how interesting this pattern rule is? So let me summarize. So we have a pattern rule. So we are trying to find games played amongst n teams. We say games played amongst n teams, right? n is not no, n teams will be how much? So, for example, for 8, it was 8 times 8 minus 1, 7. So it is n times n minus 1, and then you divide by 2. So that is in the formula which give you the number of games which will be played by n number of teams right so using this formula you can find how many games will be played against these teams in this pattern right so for example if we continue and if there are 10 teams then the number of games should be 10 times 9 which is 90 divided by 2 which is 45 correct so we should get 45 here you get an idea right so that is how you can make a rule test it out and then you can find how many games will be played amongst those many teams, right? You can apply the same method for another example where let us say there are people who come for a meeting and they do a handshake. Everyone does a handshake once. And if there are 10 people in a meeting, how many handshakes will there be? You can use the same formula and find the result as 45. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.